Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Doug. こんにちは。今日は今が一番おいしいタイを使ってタイ飯を作ります。お米は洗ってあります。First, let's prepare the rice. Put the rice into a pot. Pour the water into it. Then, add the kombu seaweed. このまま30分つけておきます。ご飯がふっくらおいしく食べます。Let it sit for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, let's season the Thai sea bream. Sprinkle the salt on both sides of the fillet. Lightly rub in the salt. Then, pour the sake over it. このまま10分置きます。Let it sit for 10 minutes. Now, coat the grilling basket with vinegar. This will help to prevent the fillet from sticking. Turn on the burner. Remove the excess water from the fillet using a paper towel. When the basket is hot enough, place the tie in the basket with the skin side facing down. When the skin is browned, flip it over. Lightly brown the other side. Turn off the burner. Remove and place the Thai onto a plate. Now let's cook the rice. Add the salt, sake, and soy sauce. And lightly stir. Then place the grilled Thai into the pot and add the shredded ginger root. Cover and bring it to a boil on medium heat. Leave the lid slightly off so that you can see inside. When it begins to boil, cover completely. Reduce the heat to low and simmer for 12 minutes. Now, turn off the burner. Let it sit for 10 minutes, allowing the rice to cook completely. Now, the rice is ready. Jan! Looks super delicious. Remove the Thai fillet and the kombu seaweed. Then remove the fish bones thoroughly. Cut the skin into bite sized pieces. And then roughly crumble the fillet. As for the kombu seaweed, cut it into thin strips. Now place the Thai and the shredded kombu into the pot again. Lightly toss with the rice paddle to mix the Thai and rice. Then place the Thai meshi into a bowl.
スプリンクルオンダトースティードホワイトセサミシーズファイナリースマックダキノメリーブズインユアパームズトゥインクリースイッツアロマクッキングダタイウィダボーンズウィルヘルプメイクグッドダシストックメイキングダタイメシーエクセプショナリーデリシャス But be careful not to leave any small bones in the fillet. タイの身はふっくらで、骨からいい出汁が出てとっても美味しいです。皆さんの国にタイはありますかあったらぜひ作ってみてください。You can also use boneless Thai fillet to save time.If Thai is not available in your area, you can substitute red snapper.Good luck in the kitchen!